Yay, not so in this case. Hi you guys, my name is Sarah. Welcome to Vintage and Painted. Today's video is actually part two of the office makeover. If you remember a few weeks ago, I released part one of an office makeover that I'm doing for the Salvation Army. I'll give you a little teaser right here. And of course, I will link the video in the description below if you want to check that out if you haven't seen it. Today's video is of the office, um, what do you call it? Lateral filing cabinet. That's what it is. I found that on Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid too much for it to be honest, but I really wanted it. I mostly just needed it for the vertical storage for somewhere to put the printer. So I paid $50 for it. I'm not reselling it. I'm giving it, uh, donating it to the Salvation Army. I will be making this over in my favorite DIY paint in more of a vintage farmhouse cottage core style. So if you're interested in seeing how I make over this sterile, very, what's the word that I'm looking for? Industrial is not the right word that I'm looking for, but you know, very office chic. <laughs> That's what it is. It's your standard lateral cherry fake wood. It's not even real wood. It's all fake. I actually end up taking off the base and putting on real wood. So you'll want to catch that as well. So if you want to see how I do all of that, stick around and let's get okay, into it. Okay, it is so dirty. And it hasn't even been in my garage that long, but it's so dirty. Need to clean it, but first what I want to do is remove the hardware. Since I'm not using it and going to be putting new hardware in there, I have to plug up the holes. Okay, I need to make a repair to the top. I think the people that I bought it from dragged it across the room, or maybe it was like that to begin with, but I need to remove this drawer out so I can get to the top. And how you do that, for this guy right is back here you can't see it you might be able to see it better on the or maybe if I press that in okay you see this hook this hook thing back here well this bar slides in under that and catches and then you slide this in and this catches here so to take it out you do the opposite. You press this in and you pull this out. It, it was already not underneath, so it came out really easy. But let's see the other side. See the hook thing there? That's, that's stopping the bar from sliding further in. It's just keeping it in place. So I need to, in theory, press in this and pull that out. And sometimes it's really jammed in there, so it really takes some pulling but luckily yay not so in this case that drawer is in fairly good nick because of the even though it's made of particle board one of my thumbs is out of commission <laughs> i was helping laying flooring and i wasn't concentrating and i whacked my thumb like most particle board pieces of furniture, get it a lot in Ikea. Uh, actually, it's attached with like pins and screws and so maybe the screws just come loose and I can tighten it and it'll be good. If anything, this teaches me never, never, never. If it's solid wood, maybe it's okay. Particle board, MDF, never pick or drag your pieces up by the top. 
they, they're just not strong enough. They're not built for it. So that's my lesson out of this one for myself. Do not drag it. Not that I did, but yay. Okay, I've taken it off and you can see. All of them are this height. Those two over there are, well, they're the same height at least anyway. This one is down in a lot lower than that guy. You see how that's sticking up? I need to screw it down in further and then bring this one up. So they're the same height because it was locking on this one, but it wasn't catching on this one because it was too low. So it's an easy fix. Thanks the Lord. So probably just gonna screw this guy in a bit more and this guy out a bit more. I'm not going to glue it or anything because I don't know. The original people didn't glue it, so in theory, I shouldn't need to. In theory, I should be able to just put this back on and we're good. Okay. Let's see. On there, solid, yeah, solid for particle board. Yay! Okay. All right. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna flip her upside down, and we're gonna have a look at the base and try and figure out what to do there. Okay. While I think about the best course of action for the base, I'm gonna plug up these holes for the fronts. I've cut some dowel down to size. It fits snugly. Not too, it's not tight, but it, it's, it'll do. <laughs> and I'm going to glue those into place. The hardware for now. The, the simple makeover that I did of a dresser way, way back <laughs> in uh, July, the iron ore one, and I used the pulls. They were a big hit. You guys love them. Well, I am getting to use the bar pulls that match those pulls. So I'm very excited about that. These are gorgeous. And I think it's just going to go beautifully with the pop of colour that's going to be for the office. So, I'm going to take the base off. Okay, so what I am doing now, I've removed the base and I want to cut the curve off of just the edge of the base. Uh, I don't, I want it to be a straight line. So I'm just trimming it right back. I'm not trimming a whole lot off of it actually. And then I'm just popping the base back onto the file cabinet. While it's upside down, I'm going to cut the base, attach it, and then actually I'm going to cut the base, set it back, attach it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, I am going to glue it down as well because oh, I'm, I just want to extra, probably don't need to but there you go, I'm, I'm doing it.
turns out it's really far and light heart and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get Because this is going to be a lateral file, it's in an office, they're not going to always have two people around to move it if they need it moved for whatever reason. So I'm taking some blocks of wood that I have as scrap and I am gluing and nailing them in and then I'll screw the feet into that. And the wheels are going to just poke under which is fine. You don't need them fully exposed. See that little white dot and brown dot out there? My daughter is right there patting the stray cats in our street and that's Tammy who's <laughs> watching over her person and not happy <laughs> that there's cats at the end of the driveway. <laughs> Poor Tammy. Tammy! 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 She's not even coming whenever I call her she comes straight away. <laughs> Hi! Yeah! Yeah! You! Uber. So the wheels are just sticking out just a little tiny bit so you can't even see them but it gives you the convenience of it being on wheels without the ugly if you know what I mean. It looks great. I'm excited about that. I'm going to dust it all off and then it'll be ready to paint but I don't think I'm going to do that tonight. Um, we'll see. My kids want me to go inside and watch something with them so I think I'm going to take a break and come back to it tomorrow afternoon. I'm really happy with that. Look at that. So now you don't have to lift it by the lid and weaken the joint. You can roll it around if you need it in a different place in the room, but you don't have to look at the ugly industrial wheels. And I had those wheels just, I took them, must have taken them off something and kept them. They came in handy. Dad, <laughs> I'm so sorry for all the years where I gave you a hard time for keeping everything. So, all right.
Okay, you guys. This has dried completely for 24 hours. And now I'm going to use my, uh, the, these brushes have names. I'm not very good at remembering what they are. I probably should learn that. It's like a palm brush. I'm gonna use it because I do want smooth strokes because underneath is textured. If I get a little texture on the top, it's not a big deal, but I'm not going for complete coverage either. I want the cream and parts of the wood to poke through. This is a, an accent color for in the office. I've done the painting that color. I'm gonna do some other DIYs in the accent this color. And I think that this piece is just gonna be gorgeous, just as a standout piece with this green, bright and cheery in the light room. And it doesn't look officey, you know? It looks, it's not everyone's style or everyone's cup of tea. I realize that. <laughs> it's definitely more chippy than a lot of people like nowadays, but you know what? I like it, so. We're going oh, did with I tell it. you that I'm using? No, I didn't. Sorry. I'm using. Don't focus on my face. DIY paint in aviary. Aviary? Is that how you say it? Just taking a piece of cardboard because I don't want to use tape, and I just sort of painting and then wiping off the excess, moving along, doing the same thing. I will be making this over in my favorite DIY paint. You guys know I'm an affiliate for them. I will link everything or I will list everything in the description below and link my affiliate link in the description as well. drying I have a different brush I've washed my other brushes out with the smallest amount of water and I'm going to use this watered down paint just to sort of go over the top of it all While it's still kind of damp, using the sponge and I'm going to just wet it and distress back just a little in areas. I'm really happy with how it looks. I want to do a like wash over the top just because I don't want it to have a dark green. I want it to have a cream. Tone. I am using Minwax Polyacrylic in clear. This time it is a water-based top coat. I'm using a Wagner spray gun. I will link everything below for you guys. It is a flat polyacrylic. I did not want any shine on this piece, 
but it needed to be protected and I didn't want to use wax since it is in an office. Okay, it is so dirty. Here is a quick look at the before. It was a standard lateral office kind of filing cabinet. And here's the after. I love it, you guys. It is perfect for the room. It fits right in with the aesthetic that I was going for. And I am completely in love with it. It's gorgeous. Turned out exactly like I was hoping it would. Couple of layers to it. You had your base layer and then your first layer. And then I did a couple of washes on it just until I was happy with it. Let me know in the comments below if you actually used the word office in a conversation with somebody this week. And I cannot wait to see you on the next one. All right, you guys, love you to bits. Bye. Guys, did anyone else notice that I didn't put the pulls on the the filing cabinet? <laughs> I when I was taking the photos and I was doing the the you know sexy aftershop pictures and video and stuff, the whole time I'm thinking to myself, I feel like something's missing, but I don't know what's missing. And I honestly, it didn't dawn on me until I delivered it to the office and I realized, oh crap, <laughs> I forgot to put the pulls on. So anyway, if you want to see uh, the pulls on that lateral filing cabinet, you're going to have to tune in for next week or next time when I do DIYs and the full room reveal, I have put the pulls on the filing cabinet, you guys. <laughs> oh, I tell you, you got to be able to laugh at yourself or you'll cry. So, anyway, I hope I see you guys next time. And as always, I love you to bits. And if you feel like binge watching a few more of my videos, you can click on this link here. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye.